Dr. Betters. I'm Danielle, and I'm here with my granddad, Dr. Chuck F. Betters. Granddad, the question we have for you today is a bit of a longer one, but I think it is very, very important. Dr. Betters, I'm exhausted with trying to do good works on earth in order to earn the rewards in heaven mentioned in the Bible. And I am confused as to why I should care if I get any rewards at all. Won't just being in heaven with Jesus, the disciples, and all of the saints be enough? Why would I want more? And if I don't get any rewards, I won't be sad about it or envious of others because none of that exists in heaven. I am so confused. Wow, that's a great question. And there's a couple of things I want to say before I actually answer the question. You are not saved by good works. You are not rewarded because of good works. There are no rewards greater than heaven. Heaven itself is the greatest of all rewards because you are in the presence of Jesus. We don't, we cannot begin to think that somehow we earn points. We live in a culture today where everyone receives a trophy, the performance trophy, the most valuable player is darkened out by the participation trophy. Just because you're there, you get a trophy. Well, that's a whole new story. That's a whole new question. But I want to say this, that's not what the Christian life is. We do not get rewards because we participate. The one, there's a couple of things that Jesus promised us in scripture. One, that we will be in this world constantly in trouble, constantly suffering. And two, it will all be worth it one day when we stand before God. You cannot outgive God. So, I don't know, let's just say you earn a thousand trophies in this life. And you stand before God who has, for each of those trophies, a million sins that you've committed. The balances are tipped. The scales are tipped. You don't win. You lose if it's a matter of good works versus evil works. You lose that battle every single time. So you're right when you say it's not going to matter when you get to heaven about those rewards because they do not exist as we, as we measure the, the word rewards here in this life. We do not earn our way to heaven. We do not keep our salvation because we earn it. We are saved by grace. You know, when I read your question, I was immediately thinking about the thief on the cross. When we think about that thief on the cross, we learn a couple of things that maybe we just overlook a little bit. We remember from reading the gospel accounts that the thief, the one thief on the cross was penitent. The other one was not. But initially, both of them mocked Jesus, including the penitent thief. But when he was repentant of his sin, what did Jesus say to him? Today, this day, within seconds, you will be with me in paradise. Here's the question. Did the thief on the cross have any time to earn rewards? Did the thief on the cross have any time to receive crowns that are only going to get cast at the feet of Christ? No. He was a penitent thief in that moment of death. And what was his reward? Today, Jesus said, you will be with me in paradise. The greatest Christian who ever lived was the Apostle Paul. And what does he say about himself? There's sinners everywhere, but I'm the chief one. I am the most vile of sinners. I am the chief of sinners. Now, I don't believe Paul was the chief of sinners. I can think of 
history's records of others. They were far worse than Paul. But he believed he was. His heart was understanding the holiness of God. So what rewards could we possibly earn in this life beyond the salvation that we have in Christ Jesus? If our focus is on what God's going to owe me, wow, what kind of faith is that? The mother of James and John came to Jesus one day and said, I want you when you come into your kingdom to put my two sons, one on your right hand and one on your left, vying for position of prominence was that mother. I wonder what she thought when she was at the foot of the cross and she looked over to the one hand and there was a thief crucified on the other side. There was another thief. I wonder if she thought to herself then, that could be my son James over there and my son John over there. I wonder if she understood then how foolish she was asking for some sort of placement in the kingdom of God. Nothing could be further from the truth. We do not earn crowns of glory that are not going to also be cast down. Now, the Bible does tell us that there is such a thing as rewards. I think we need to focus less on that and more on the sense that we're going to have of gratitude when we stand before a holy God who could have zipped open hell dipped us over top of it to show us what we are saved from and what we have been saved to. So you're right in saying it's really not going to matter in heaven, but God has reserved rewards. I don't know what they are. I know there's a clue to it when the scripture says that you have been faithful over a little. Now I will make you ruler over much. I don't know what that means. And honestly, I don't care because I believe we're going to owe God nothing. Or I would be reverse that, that God is going to owe us nothing when we stand before him that day. I hope you'll visit markinc.org, become a part of our team, and I hope this helps. God bless.